Hi, welcome back to the channel and it's going on to mid-December and we've got a beautiful uh, afternoon, winter's afternoon. Um, yes, we're out again. Um, we're on our Christmas meetup and uh, we're on our way down to the Cotswolds. Um, so we stopped off here at uh, Milestone uh, Caravan Park where we were a couple of weeks ago and um, just staying there one night um, and then we head down to the Cotswolds tomorrow to meet up with uh, Trev and Sue and Kaz and Pete. Um, so um, I just wanted to talk to you about um, draining down. Um, as you know we just got the uh, Rapido um, a few weeks ago, early October, uh, so we've had it a couple of months now. Uh, we was out in the motorhome last week, uh, last weekend over at Donkey Creek and uh, before we left site I drained down uh, all the water tanks including the boiler um, ready for storage which the van has been on storage this week and as you know it's been really cold the temperatures uh, dipping below zero um, so I was really pleased that we had I'd done all that and uh, I didn't have to worry too much about the van parked up um, what I wanted to talk to you about in particular is when we came down here to, to Milestone and uh, I wanted to um, fill the tanks up the fresh water tank up and uh, had a bit of a problem and I just wanted to explain and share um, what problem I faced it's not a major problem but it had me panicking at the time so I just thought it's worthy of uh, sharing this with you right so as you can see um, we have a Truma boiler in the Rapido and it's the uh, Combi E at this particular boiler we have now in this mod um, we have this frost control safety drain system. Now it's like the old fashioned drain system which we're all familiar with which is this one and it has the yellow tap just here which you flip up and down each side uh, for when you're draining and when you um, fill. With this one it's slightly different. I'll just take you to the location in the van. There it is. Um, and what, what you do basically um, when you want to drain off the boiler, you turn this lever here in the, that position and the button there pops out. You just put it back. Water fold down so you can see down there it's quite wet. Um, so that's what you do when you dry uh, when you drain off turn the lever um, in that direction this pops out and the water flows now this is a safety mechanism that if the if the temperature drops below three degrees this will automatically pop out regardless of this being in this position and it'll just drop all the water out of your boiler that is a good safety mechanism what I didn't know is um, when you come to fill up obviously you turn your tap um, in the opposite uh, in this position so the water doesn't um, flow straight through when you're filling it up with fresh water uh, and you push the button in on the, this occasion this afternoon this button did not go back in it wouldn't go back so when I was filling up it was just filling up the boiler and filling up the fresh water tank um, but when I put the pump on and pressurize the system it just released all the water out of the boiler um, so I came out and tried to push this back in and it would not engage so I was thinking there was a fault on it why does it do that um, so I went inside and I checked with the um, instructions and manual that this will not push in when the temperature is three degrees or below it has to be at least seven degrees so you might think well how am I going to do that because like today it's a cold day um, and you want to fill your water up uh, you want to get your boiler up and running and get the heater on well the way you do it is that you warm up the van you don't need to have water as you probably well know you don't need to have water in the boiler um, you can use it without you can heat the van up without water in the boiler now as you can see right next to here there's a, a air duct heating duct and this warms up obviously the back here but it's also protecting 
this and keeping this area warm um, so if you heat the van up first before you <clears throat> put any uh, attempt to put any water in and close off the boiler um, this it only needs to go above seven degrees and then this button will then engage so then you can eat, uh, fill your fresh water tank up you can fill the boiler up with water and you can switch the pump on and that will then work normally it will force water out because when this button is out in the out position um, that is just going to drop water so i hope that's explained briefly um, what how this mechanism works it's all about this little blue button down here um, as well as your your lever up there but when this button is out it will release automatically your water in the boiler <clears throat> when it's three degrees or less and it's a great little safety mechanism and <clears throat> when you want to reuse it when you fill up again make sure that the area and this is up to seven degrees by putting your heating on and that is engaged so the water will not drop out so one of the other things um, when you're draining down is to not forget to drain down the external shower um, to let the water out uh, just by running it when you drained everything off if you just operate the shower so that it's any water that's stuck at the back in the pipes or in, in, around here um, it's it's pumped out and forced out uh, because if there is a little bit of water left behind here it can freeze and it can split the pipes so it's just another little tip um, I know me personally, I always forget to do that. I hope you find this really useful.